This is Thatcham, a company that makes a difference to every man, woman and child in this country and to millions of people around the world. A company that's dedicated to safe car design and safe repair. A company that saves life and limb and billions of pounds for the insurance industry. I'm a journalist and I'm here today to open the door to the often secret work carried out here and meet some of the dedicated, passionate, able men and women that help make it happen. This is Thatcher. Hi, I'm Dan. Sorry to trouble you. Who's your mate? Um, this is one of our crash test dummies. Um, which we use. We've got lots of different types. We use them for uh, various different types of testing here. We've got the, the car testing and um, next door we have a sled facility for testing seats which we have a different dummy for. What so sort of work do you actually carry out in this department? Um, we've got lots of different types of research here in Crash. Um, this test for example, we, you can see there's a car with a, a dummy in it. This is going to be a, a barrier test. Um, on this particular vehicle we're testing bumpers to see um, the repair costs during a low speed city type crash. Um, we're also using it to in encourage manufacturers to build their bumpers at the same height so they engage and effectively they, they bump properly when they hit each other. So you really are making an impact on probably every driver in Britain and beyond? Hopefully yes, With, in years to come if, if we can encourage them to, to all maintain the same bumper heights we'll have safer cars and cheaper cars to repair which helps the insurance industry and obviously the, the consumer as well. Now I've seen lots of seats lying around the place, what, what are they for? The, seats, the seat testing we do here at Thatcham, um, we've been doing it for four years now, we've, we've tested about 400, over 400 seats. Um, we're trying to help the manufacturers um, in developing their seats and encouraging them to make um, safer seats. For example, this seat here has a, an active system, which when you are hit from behind, it will deploy forwards and actually come to meet your head and hopefully reduce the risk of you getting whiplash in that impact. So when you get home at night, it must be an amazing feeling to know that you've actually helped save life and limb and a lot of money. It's nice to know you're doing something positive, yeah, definitely. And it's a, it's a, it's a great day's work as well, which is always a bonus. Thatcher was set up in 1969 as a not-for-profit organisation and since that time has built up a huge bank of knowledge and developed a unique set of specialties. Contributing to that knowledge today are research engineers Jeroen and Chris. Um, I'm having a look around today just to see what Thatcham does and mm -hmm. uh, I wonder what you do in this department. Research all the, all the new technologies that, that's coming out, whether it be new paints coming into the industry, new materials, new methods and techniques of how to repair the vehicle. Once we, we've understood what, what's going on with that side of it, then hopefully that will then filter into, into the repair industry. And how do, you, how do you go about that, actually getting that information out? One of the things we do, we are part of uh, a group that's called REWAC, Repair Industry Welding Action Group. It's a body to transfer information. People involved in that are welding machine manufacturers, OEMs, um, insurers, repairers. It's a medium to discuss issues within the industry, uh, new technology, uh, make people aware of that. Another initiative is uh, REMAC, where we try to get manufacturers to stick to a standard format uh, or a st standard amount of information within a repair method. Chris, what do you specialise in? My specialty is paint, mm -hmm. so I'm looking at the new technologies that are coming out all the time. The way it's actually being applied to the, to the vehicle is changing all the time. There's, um, you've got things like uh, xeralic lacquers and chroma flares and ceramic lacquers. So are you basically the research, cutting edge research end of the operation here at Thatcher? If we call it like that, then yes <laughs> we are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This sort of work at the forefront of automotive engineering cascades down to the teams that produce methods and times. There have been big changes at Thatcham in the last year, streamlining processes. Paul Herring is one of the people that have helped make it happen. What are the main changes in the structure of a vehicle in the, in the metals that they use, say? The main change is, um, before the majority of cars will be made of mild steel. Now we're getting high strength steel, ultra high strength steel, um, we're getting plastics, we're getting reinforced sort of carbon fibre, all sorts of changes. And along with those different materials, the joining techniques are differing. I mean, there are some vehicles that we repair now which are fully sort of bonded and um, riveted together. And because of PAS125, we're now sort of going on to methods and, and we're really looking at methods. Times is also still there important, but methods are key. How long does it take you to actually get a car 
and work out everything there is to know about putting it back together again. The car would, we have several stages that we go. First of all, um, with a low volume, low cost car, we'll actually do something called an early method. Now, an early method is covering um, a lot of the cosmetic panels around a car, such things as uh, the, the rear wing, uh, rear bumper, front bumper, mm -hmm. tailgate, doors, things like that. These are sort of accidents which happen sort of in car parks and bits and pieces and no speed impacts. Right. That is the first method and that would normally take around sort of a month for us to sort of strip. In fact this vehicle we're doing now, this is on our early methods information, so for people out in the industry um, to attain the sort of uh, the, the actual kite mark they need to adhere to certain methods and those are the methods that we're producing. So total quality assurance? Total quality assurance, yes. We're making a difference out there in the industry. Well, we've heard about the crucial role that Thatcham plays in developing techniques and methods for the crash repair process, but maybe there's an even more important, a pivotal role that Thatcham plays in producing a whole new generation of skilled and talented young people entering the industry. Well, we can have up to five to six groups in a week, which can be up to about 60 apprentices, but actually on our books, we've actually got 315. That sounds like a lot. Do we need all those young people? Yes, we do. You know, we need to fill the gap. You know, we've got people that have been working in the industry retiring, and we've got that skills gap that we need to get these young apprentices, you know, up and through their training to fill that gap. So there's a shortage out there at the there moment, is. and there you're is. helping to fill them. We are. We are. Yes. What sort of issues do these young people have? I mean, are you, you're not just in charge of their technical proficiency. It must be difficult to look after all these people. Yeah, some of them can actually have some worries and problems about things that are going on at home and issues that they have to deal with as young people. So often they come and have a chat with me about things that aren't you know, related to work. How long is the training process? Well, they're here for three years and they come down to us on a two-week block four times a year. So they're away for two weeks, which can be you know, quite a long time for some of them. Excellent. Is there anybody we can talk to today? Well, you can probably speak to James, he's just coming over. And what is your over, overriding impression of the place? What has it brought to you? Well, it's amazing. Uh, the facilities are here are excellent and uh, there's plenty of opportunity for us to get stuck in and uh, learn a lot. Yeah. Training the next generation is important, but Thatcham offers help and training to engineers and technicians at any stage in their career. And this is even more important now because of the Thatch and BSI kite mark and the demands that it makes. Now before any crash repair can take place, a proper vehicle damage assessment has to be carried out. And Thatch has recently opened a new regional centre in Nuneaton to train damage assessors. Les Minton is a key member of the team. I would feel that here at Nuneaton we are actually now starting to make people more aware of how a vehicle should be repaired. So I'm surprised on how many vehicle damage assessors are still not aware about built-in crumple zones built onto the end of chassis legs. They're still looking at thinking, oh, I can repair that rather than actually putting sections on. I have a passion for people being to a suitable standard to do a job. As I say, I really do believe that we should be actually looking to raise standards of the people who are actually agreeing, authorising and setting the repair method for the technicians in the ship workshop to repair. The feedback I get from the delegates as with Nuneaton that they like its availability. We get a big Scottish contingent down which they find the commute here is much easier than coming down into Thatcham. They like the fact that we actually teach in small groups. When somebody has been through Thatcham and trained in the manner to look at the car in more detail and write a repair specification in much more detail that the job can actually flow through their shop quickly. The insurance company gains from it because they're not dealing with complaints and everybody should go away with a much more satisfied customer which is good for both the insurance sector and the repair.